All right, to get started on this lab quickly, I'm just going to show you um, how to connect your um, laptop um, through Ethernet to your router. So um, I have my dongle here with my Ethernet cord attached, and I'm going to plug it into one of the four back ports on my router. Um, these aren't, they might be different colors for you, but these orange ones are the um, outputs. So that's where the router outputs the Ethernet. And this blue one is the input. So that Ethernet cord is going to go into a modem or like another type of wireless access point for your router to get the internet to um, broadcast. All right, so in order to start looking at the settings on your router, you're gonna wanna open up your browser and type in the following IP address. It's gonna start 192 period 168 period. Then it's gonna be one of four combinations. The combinations are either 0, 0.0, 0.1, 1.0 or 1.1. I happen to know mine is 1.1. So you're going to want to try all four of those. Um, in the United States, all router, all um, default IP gateways are going to be um, one combination of those four. So once you enter that IP address, you should be brought into a login screen if your router is already set up. If it's not, there might be a wizard. There might just be a login thing. Um, the default logins, if you haven't modified or changed your password, are gonna be a username as admin and password as just password. Um, that's usually what it is like most of the time. Um, I happen to have already like changed mine, so I'll enter in that password and log in. So your menu screen is gonna look however your um, menu screen looks like based on whatever router you have. Um, you can always be able somewhere in like a network map probably is what it's gonna be called or like a, wire, or like a list of users you should be able to see all the uh, people using the internet right now. So um, my default um, home screen is the network map and I can scroll through this list and see all the devices connected. You can also see on um, the MAC address and IP address, at least on my home screen of all the routers connected. You can also check the MAC and IP address of your own computer by going into the command prompt on Windows. You would just type CMD in the bottom left and then um, hit enter, and then you would type in the line IP config um, backslash all, or it's out forward slash, I don't know, whatever slash that is. And then once you hit enter, you can scroll through and you can see here, like under the IPv4 address, that's the address that um, is used to uh, connect to um, this internet. That'll change based off of where you are um, or what internet you are connected to. If you scroll up a little bit, you can see the physical address, which is the MAC address. That is a unique identifier to um, your device and won't change. So getting into modifying some settings, if I click on this wireless um, option on the left hand side, I can do something called hide the SSD or hide the SSID. So um, if I do that, um, it's a way to protect your network because no one will be able to see it automatically. They'd have to see it manually. So um, if I hide this, um, the five gigahertz network, um, by the way, um, there's, you can, can always split your network if it has the ability to split into two different um, radio frequencies. You can do two gigahertz or five gigahertz or 2.4 or 5.0. Um, 2.4 is going to be better for long ranges and 5.0 is gonna be better for devices that are just kind of stationary and closer to the router. Right now I'm connected to the 2.4 gigahertz channel. So if I hide the 5.0 gigahertz one, I won't see it in my list. So I need to go over to the wireless settings in my um, Windows menu and go to manage known networks. And then I can add a new network manually. You need to know the network name, know the security type. I happen to know mine is WPA2 personal. That's what most people's will be. And then um, you would type in your um, security and make sure you connect even if it's not broadcasting publicly. So I can see it there. If I forget it, um, I can unhide it and then I can see it in the list now. I don't know why this um, pop-up keeps happening. Now, if I wanted to um, add more security, if you didn't have a password here, you could add it. Um, this is the password that like my parents wanted set. So like that's what it is. I don't know why, but um, <laughs> that's the password I have. If you set a password, you can only log into the route, the internet, if you happen to know the password. So the last bit of security that I'm going to add to my router is um, called access control. And in access control, you can either blacklist, which is specifically ban devices based off their MAC address from connecting, 
or specifically whitelist, only allow the, or the MAC addresses I am entering to connect. So this is um, used if you only want a certain amount of devices connected or want to better control people than just having a password protected wall. So um, in order to do that, you, you kind of want to look for some type of security menu or like some type of access control menu. If I scroll down on the left here, I have my security menu. And then I have a button that says access control. So I'd first have to turn it on in my case, and then I can set the mode to blacklist or whitelist. Again, um, blacklist is you're going to specifically ban devices. Whitelist is you're only allowing a certain, um, certain devices to connect. So like schools might do that if they only want um, to make sure that their school um, laptops or school computers are connected to um, the are connected to the network. So I would either pick blacklist or whitelist and save it. The default is blacklist because that makes more sense. You want to ban certain um, devices. I would scroll down to the bottom here and just click add. And then I would type in a name for the device and then the specific MAC address for the device and then just save it. And then if I refreshed, it would um, ban it. If I did that though, um, right now there'd probably be some issues because um, my family's using the Wi-Fi, so I don't want to kick everyone off right now. So in short, you just want to pick blacklist or whitelist, and then um, you go down and pick the um, devices that you either want to ban or, the or only pick a list of the devices that you want allowed on the network. So that's pretty much it for the security settings and um, what I'm going to show you in this video. Uh, just to quickly review, we went um, through accessing the router login page that's at the IP address 192. 168 and then a combination of 0001101011. We hid the SSD, we added a password, we um, found our IP address and MAC address on um, Windows using the command prompt, and then we um, went through access control and blacklist and whitelist. Um, thank you for watching and good luck on your router labs.